Hello everyone and welcome to the official SMS Esports live stream. My name is Samuel and I'm here with Dusty. And today we are going to be live streaming a uh, wasn't it a, a match against Ramblewood and Sawgrass Middle Schools? Yes, that's correct. I believe. Well, anyway, the players are currently getting into the matches, so we will wait until then. Anyway, Dusty, um, do you by any chance remember how, like, Ramblewood and Sawgrass played? Because I, I do remember how they played last time, and I would like to see, like, some improvement. And, Dusty, do you have, like, any expectations? Um... So, one thing... I... I kind of remember how they played, but I'd have to get a good name of their player names again to remember, actually. Um, okay. I will say, obviously, if they're playing offense, you either want mixed or a very good defense. Yeah. Well, anyway, we'll see how they play during this match, because I'm, I'm hoping and I'm pretty sure that they did do a lot of training before, like hand. Kind of like how we do. We do a lot of trainings before we actually do a match like this. Yeah. Anyway, we are still currently waiting for both of the players, SMS and Ramblewood and Sawgrass, whichever one that we're going to be streaming today. And we are waiting for them to enter the match. I think it's Ramblewood, actually, that we're playing today. Well, we will see whenever they do end up joining the match. So, Sam, what do you expect that they would play? Well, I'm going to probably expect a more slightly offensive mixed sort of like play at the first match. But if they do end up starting to win, there is a very good chance that they will start trying to go all out offense. Mm -hmm. I've seen it a lot of times where um, like a team would win one match and all of a sudden they would just disregard defense in its entirety. And that would end up basically making them lose the match. However, there is the chance that they could keep on being with the whole like mixed uh, strategy thing or how we called it, um, wasn't it adaptive? Yes, we called it adaptive. Well, adaptive and mixed are sort of the same and a different thing. Because adaptive are like, you sort of switch up, like, in between the matches. While mixed is just like, you have a goalie, a defender, and an attacker, basically. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I either expect to see offense or adaptive. Defense, uh, like, full, mainly full-on defense is really rare. You never find a defensive team in, well, the entirety of, as well, in the entirety of esports. I have never seen a fully defensive, like, team myself. Yeah, neither have I. However, I have seen plenty of fully offensive teams. They usually did not do the best unless their players were complete, like, pros at the game. Yeah. But on a normal occasion, I just would not suggest going full-on offense. Neither would I. Unless your team is, like, really desperate and you need just one more goal to get, like, out of overtime or something, I really would not suggest it. Because mm -mm. then they'll leave you open. And that could end up having you get scored on on overtime or something. 
That's how a lot of the shots are for uh, Wilder's team. Where the the team lowers their defenses and they ended up like having a, like the ball just go into the goal. Yeah. Well, hopefully Wilder has learned from that. Let's hope. Yeah. But you never know. We'll see once we start playing. For anyone who is wondering, Wilder's team in is called the Hackers, if I believe. No, it's not the Hats or Mans. Which is their name, first of all. There are no Hackers, it's Hats or Mans. And, um... Yeah, no, they're uh, called the others. What was the other thing you said? About the team that Wilder was on. Yeah. Which was, they told me that it was the Hackers. They aren't the Hatchers. The Hatchers is Edwin's team. Let me go check right now. Yeah, that's Edwin's team. Is the Let's find out. I made slides for it if you want to check for the hats or mans. Anyway. Time to confirm if the team that I said was correct. So, no, that was in fact not Wilder's team. Wilder's team was actually the ultimate decipher. Yep. I see. And... The players that will be on Ultimate Decipher are Sapien, Devic47, and Vision. Very interesting name. Instead of Cypher, it's Decipher. Well. Doesn't make Grammarly correct. I'm not sure if that's what they're going for or what, but oh well. Anyway. We are still currently waiting on uh, one of the teams to join the match. So... We will continue with our, basically, discussion here. Actually, Dusty, out of any Rocket League move that you've ever seen, which one have you, or, out of any move in Rocket League, which one have you seen the least in esports? Mm. Alright, here's one that I, um... I guess you can call it a move. I know that because of achievement that I'm pretty sure has almost never been done in this esports history for here, which is shooting a goal why on your back. A turtle shot. Yes. I think I've seen a turtle shot before or someone attempting a turtle shot. But it's 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 very rare and the specific requirements to technically get it is a lot more... Because you have to, like, be in a specific time on your turtle shot. I see. You have to be fully on the ground with your back. Anyway, so right now we are starting the match. Any minute now. Uh, someone left the match. Oh, uh, someone typed in chat. I guess I'll have to go back and watch the stream to see what that was in chat. Um, that was, someone did type in chat, like, hey, this person, which what team do you want to be on? Oh, wait. Hey, Hunter, what team do you guys want to be? We'll take blue. I think that's supposed to be home team. Uh, cool, cool. Hi. Uh, wait, what? No, what? Sorry for the wait. Something. Alright, so it does seem that Ultimate Decipher is going to be playing this match. So the current players are Vision, Devic47, and Sapien for SMS. 
and CJMJ30, Razooms, and KJ Mega Boy for I think this is Ramblewood. Uh, I believe so. Anyway, so far it seems that not a lot of difference in play style, if I currently remember, because. I think we got our prediction wrong for the fact that they would use a like mixed setup, because so far what I'm seeing is they're going full on offense, which mm -hmm. the same thing is happening with Ultimate Cipher. They're both going offense, so it's mainly just a matter of luck right now, or so yeah. a matter of who's better than the other. So yeah, now it's just basically very balanced, which is something you typically don't want. Because then you have as good of a chance as the enemy. Alright, so far it seems that CJMJ30 has scored against SMS. Um. Yeah, one thing that would definitely save them here uh, is definitely getting a uh, adaptive play. I mean, what I remember you talking about, Dusty, was how apparently... Wilder's team, specifically the Ultimate Decipher, or Ultimate Decipher, the team, had a habit of going full-on offensive. Oh, yeah, it, it's more than a habit at this point. Do you believe that they are doing that at this current moment? Uh, yes. If you were to say anything to them right now about their current wanting to play a full-on offensive, like, play style, what would you say? I would basically tell them that it's it's not all that worth it. Because, sure, you have three people trying to go against them. But, um, that also leaves them open, like CJMJ30 just proved. Yep. CJ MJ30 is taking great use of the fact that SMS or Ultimate Decipher currently just does not want to have a goalie at all. It's like they're sort of impatient, you could say. And CJ MJ30 yet again taking great advantage of that with there being absolutely no goalie by yep. absolutely just taking the kickoff. Mm. If there was a goalie in place, however, that would have not happened. Yeah. So far, CJMJ30 does look like the first, like, possible person to get MVP for this match. Getting four goals in a matter of minutes. Mm hmm I don't know. CJMJ is a good match for uh, this team. Well, this team is Ramblewood. So far, what I'm seeing is that CJMJ30 is what you could call carrying the blue team. Yeah. Alright. It's over on orange side. Alright, they've got it to blue side. Can they get it? Seems oh. that seems like I said before, CJ MJ thirty is just the complete like brawn of the blue team so far. He is the best player on this team. Mm hmm And it's kind of making me wonder what rank he is in any of the Rocket League ranked modes, if he even is ranked at all. Yeah. Because he has to be like a ranked player. Anyway, seems that Vision has scored for this goal. With 1 minute and 48 seconds left. It, so far, it is looking like Ultimate Decipher may lose this match. Yeah, I don't know, they still have a chance. There still is a chance. still a chance, but with CJMJ30 still being around and no one daring to demo him, it seems that, like, the Ultimate Decipher may lose. Yeah. 
I don't know. They have a chance here. Anyway, two of the, uh, two of both of the teams' offensive players did try to go for the kickoff there. Although it seems that the blue team did actually score in favor of it. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, so far, it seems that Ultimate Decipher has not adapted to their weakness of that, or the weakness that, well, the blue team is easily taking advantage of. Yeah. Because, like, although, yes, the blue team does, in fact, use a lot of, like, offensive strategy in pretty much everything that they are doing right now. Like, an offense is not going to win against an offense if you're not as good as the opposing offense. No, and that's what's happening here. And it's also luck, mainly. Yeah. Although, CJMJ30 did definitely carry the opposing team so far. Yeah. And I do not believe that... Ultimate Decipher will win this. No. Let's wait. And, yeah, it's impossible. Yeah. And the winner is blue. Anyway, so the winner is... <gasps> Winner is Ramblewood. Anyway, it does seem that the blue team did definitely take great use of Ultimate Decipher's main weakness, which was the fact that they just did not want to play anything defensive. A lot of friendly GGs in the chat. Anyway, another match will be starting in about 12 seconds. So we will see how that does end up like. Well, the next match. We'll see how that. Well, plays. Um, so, for those who do not know, what we are doing right now is a game. A game has, t like, three matches. Mm -hmm. If you win two of those matches, you just win the entire game. Yeah. And if uh, the blue team does, in fact, take the fact that Ultimate Decipher does not want to use any sort of defensive, like, play style, and they do use that to their advantage then I really do not believe that Ultimate Decipher will win this. Um... Alright. So, let's see how CJMJ30 does this match. Because I believe that he will probably still end up being the main offensive MVP of his team. Okay. So far, uh, Ultimate Decipher kind of adapted to how the blue team would play although i still do not see men i i still do not see much defense there people still typing a lot in chat apparently their uh meetings have ended so cjmj30 has well done another goal there with devic being right next to cjmj30 now Devic had enough time to side flip and basically like make CJMJ30 go into the air, which would have ended up like disorientating uh, CJMJ30, and that would have stopped him from getting a goal at least that fast. Now, as I said, adaptive right here would be perfect. perfect. 
anyway, I'm seeing a lot of just the same plays over and over again. Yeah. It's kind of like they're expecting to, like, win or at least have better results if they do the same thing. But that's just not going to help you. It yeah. never will. Nope. Now, practicing the same thing over and over again is a different story. That's where, like, you try to actively get better at a certain thing by doing it so many times. But what they're doing right now is they're trying to do something so many times that they're trying to, like, get better results, which, in a game like this, not like the game in general, Rocket League, but I mean, like, in a competition where the opposing team is clearly more skilled than you, I do not believe that that will work to your favor. Now, our stream does look, uh, graphics-wise, a bit better than last time. Well, anyway, so far, CJMJ30, I would say, is the main person carrying. Like, if they were to swap CJMJ30 with someone else, it would probably not be very good for the blue team. No. Although, as I say that, KJ Megaboy makes the first goal out of any of the team for this entire game that was not CJMJ30. Yep. Alright. I don't know. Seems that like KJ Megaboy really wanted to go for that kickoff there. And I think CJMJ30 might be trying to have uh, M or KJ Megaboy. I think what CJMJ30 and uh, KJ Megaboy are trying to do is I think they're trying to like have KJ Megaboy be like the assist or something. Yeah, um, yeah, I don't know how this is going to turn out, but it is not looking good for the ultimate decipher. Anyway, nice. it seems that Vision did score for Ultimate Decipher, sort of like he did last time. Actually, near exactly like he did last time. All right. Anyway, so we're going to be starting with another kickoff. I'm going to say that Blue Team would probably, yeah, they got that into their favor. However, there wasn't a second person to help. Oh, whoa, that almost went in. At least Vision was able to, like, recover from literally ramming into another car, and he was able to end up saving his team. And CJMJ30, speaking of saving, actually saved right there. It's like CJMJ30 is just playing all the roles while it's just his other, like, teammates are just spectating. Yeah. He is the main person helping. And we have a demo. Unintentionally not that towards their goal. That might end up getting a oh, goal, and oh, yeah. Razum's CJMJ30 just went right for it. He knew that he had the chance. So if you see with the camera there, he just like turned around and then boom. The ball went straight into the goal, making the blue team have four while Ultimate Decipher only has one. Not going so well. Looks like KJ Mega Boy probably tried to fake uh Sapien. They're probably because they're probably because the blue team is thinking of a way to counter, which a counter against an offensive team like Ultimate Decipher would be perfect. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think there's a shot for SMS here. Yeah, SMS and Ultimate Decipher the team will probably lose this one. Yeah, this is just not looking good for Ultimate Decipher. Yeah. Or, well, SMS. Ooh, that could have went in if uh, Vision wasn't blocking the way. Now, what I am seeing a lot is 
basically all about the same per person that I've mentioned like 50 times now. CJMJ30 is just the MVP of his team. He is the main person that is like the offensive like person. Yeah. While Ultimate Decipher, I think the offensive person for Ultimate Decipher is definitely Vision. Although, he's not as, I would say, skilled as CJMG30 in a way. And by just barely a second, or well, by three score, seems that the blue team has won with, was it Ramblewood? Uh, I believe so. With, don't quote me on that. Well, with the blue team winning this game. And anyway. So, the blue team had four score while the... Well, well Ultimate Cypher only had yeah. one score there. With that single score being Vision. A lot of chat going on right now. Yep. And... Anyway, I'm Samuel, and this is... Uh, Jerry Road 3G Sits. A.K.A. Dusty. And this is going to be the end of our stream. Goodbye. Adios.